All right, lads, this is Fenner from Protein Phonetic Array, and I thought I'd just cover Snoot's gasless ZBZ opener. Um, it's a really nice opener. It's very, very passive, though, until at least the mid game once you've got two bass fully up and running and you've got a lair going. Because you are skipping that baneling nest, you're not getting speed, you're just going straight into roach production, so you can't really do anything to the opponent in the early game. And they can try and abuse you by playing super greedy or things like that. But generally, you get yourself into a really good position and you're really safe against most all ins because you get the four queens as well. So, let's get straight into this build. Yeah! As always, my Zerg friends, we start with a 9 Overlord. After that, get yourself a 15 pool. You can also do this with hatch first, but obviously by going hatch first, you introduce a little bit of risk to the build, whereas pool first is extremely safe. Then after that, run a drone down to natural and take yourself a hatchery on 16 supply. Go ahead and grab yourself a 15 overlord. Then as soon as your spawning pool, bleh, spawning pool finishes, grab yourself a beautiful queen and a set of lings. These lings are optional, but they make it a lot safer. You can scout for some crazy all ins with them, and it's pretty much the only time you're gonna get to scout by ground since you're not getting speed. Drone up to 22 supply, then make another queen, inject with the first queen and send it down to the natural, and also rally your main down to the natural and transfer a few drones to get that perfect saturation on the main. Also on 24 supply, make sure you build another overlord. As soon as your natural finishes, get a queen there, and then as soon as the queen finishes in the main, also get one in your main, so you got four queens total. Drone up to 35 supply and then start another overlord and then build drones up to 36 supply and as soon as you hit 36 supply, take double gas in the main. Also at 36 supply, after dropping your double gas, drop a roach warrant and put it at the front of your base so you can create some, some sin city for your queens to abuse. If you want to be safe, you can also drop a spine crawler around this time. Drone straight up to 40 supply and then get another overlord and then drone straight up to 44 supply and start another overlord. This will time out so you get a really nice layer timing after both of those overlords and you will hit 100 gas with around 150 minerals and you can just start that layer with your overlords in production. It times out really well. After you've started your layer with your first 100 gas, make sure everything is rallied to your natural, your saturation is nice on your main and then just rally everything to the natural and get ready to take double gas on 52 supply. When you reach 125 gas, drop double evo chamber, also making a wall off with the roach horn. I actually messed up in this game and my evo chambers are a bit late, but if you drop them at 125 gas, then they will finish, allowing you to start plus one range and plus one armor at the same time. Drone up to full saturation on your natural, start both of your upgrades. Lair would have finished this time as well, so you can start your roach speed upgrade as well. Start building a couple of roaches, and when you've got a couple of roaches, around five, then you can try and take your third base. You might have to build a lot more because they might have a lot of lings or things like that. But from this point, the game starts to get more complex. You'll start after making reactions on what the opponent is doing, when to drone and things like that. But the main thing you want to do with this is try and hit a timing with 1-1 one, one and roach speed. Since they will be finishing at the same time, you can just pump roaches up until that point and then go hit a timing with the roaches. And then whilst you're doing that timing, you can drone up your third, um, drop infestation pit, drop hydrogen, whatever you want to do to go into the mid game. And this is just a really nice way to get to the mid game with a nice 1-1 one, one roach timing. It all comes down to positioning in Muta vs Muta. You want to be aggressive where you can, but catching them on your side of the map can win the game. So you want to know where their Mutas are at all times, because you don't want to get aggressive and fly over to their base and then find out that their Muta 